I will show you how to use beam to represent a boat and apply a boat presentation to the beam. I have four bodies in this model. Upper flange, lower flange, and the gasket are solid bodies. And the line body is used to represent the boat. The first step is to insert two fixed joints between the line body and the two flanges. To do that, we right-click connections and then insert a joint. Here we scope the line body vertices for the reference geometry selection and flanges for the mobile geometry selections. So we select the upper vertex of the line body. And then we select the face of the upper flange. Now we have created a fixed joint between the line body to the upper flange. We can do the same to the lower flange. Right click, joint, and insert another joint. Similarly, we select the lower vertex of the line body and the face of the lower flange. OK, now we are done with fixed joints. Second step is to insert a bolt presentation. The procedure is essentially similar to inserting bolt presentation for solid body. We right click static structure and insert a bolt presentation. Then we scope the geometry to the line body. Now we set define bind to load and set preload to 50. 100 pounds for the first load step. And then we set define bind to lock for load step 2 and load step 3. OK, now we are done with settings. We can solve this problem. After solving this model, we can review the results. Please note for applications involving significant bending of the boat shank. A 3D solid model of boat will provide a better representation. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit ansys.com for more information on ansys simulation capabilities.